Hi there y'all, this is Idalia from PerfectStylishCuts.com and today I'm going to show you two ways to use my DIY face mask pattern with your cutting machines. In the first part of this video, I will be using Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you how to use my pattern design to resize the masks to make them for both toddlers, kids, and adults. Then I'm going to jump into Silhouette Studio software and show my Silhouette users how to use this DIY face mask pattern design over there. I will be going over how to resize the pattern and how to set it up to cut as well. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment in this post and I will get back to you. Or you can always email me at perfectstylishcuts at gmail.com and I'm happy to help you walk through this. Okay, so before we begin, I just want to say thank you all for visiting my face mask pattern tutorial today. And I would be yawned appreciated if you could help me share this tutorial with other crafty friends out there that you may have on social or in person by linking them to this post. I really appreciate it, guys. Okay, so let's get started. Right now, I'm in Cricut Design Space, as you can see and I have pulled up both designs that I have available for download at the bottom of this post. Here they are. Uh, the first one is this adult sized one and it's ready to cut from right here. This is the quickest way to get started and if you're just making masks for adults mostly then this is all that you will need. Uh, you can see that I've already pre-welded everything for you. All you have to do is hit make it and it separates it out into the mats for you. From right here you can adjust if you need to and um, I also suggest uh, looking at these mats beforehand that way you know how much fabric you're going to need you can uh, go ahead and iron your fabric I would before you put it on your pink uh, Cricut fabric mat if you do not have a fabric mat you can always use a light grip mat that works too but just make sure that you are only doing this uh, or doing it this way if you have um, a Cricut maker and you're using the rotary blade this will not work disclaimer here this will not work with the Cricut Explorer versions of the machines because they don't have the rotary blade you can still cut fabric with them however it's got to be bonded which you don't really need for this project um, and you know even then it might not cut like with the straighter edges if you don't have a Cricut maker like I suggested in this post in the tips um, I uh, think that the best way to still use this pattern is to cut out just uh, one piece of the filter one piece uh, for the other four pieces that we're going to talk about onto cardstock you could even cut a few of them glue them together with a glue stick uh, to make like a thick template for yourself to trace on fabric. But if you do not have the Cricut Maker, this is not going to work, okay? Um, so, so once again, uh, this one is pretty much uh, just for adults and it's ready to cut. Again, quickest way to get started. You're good to go with this one. All right, so the second one, here, let me close out of this. Yes, okay, so the second one comes in this in this format and it's a little bit more complex to use but it will allow you to resize the face mask pattern for children as well as adults so let's talk about this design a little bit so as you can see there's only two pieces and this is because it's resizable at this point right now it's set up for seven inches by 5.75 inches which is the average adult size that you need now the formula to find out what size you need uh, for other size spaces is very simple. You want to take a measuring tape uh, and you want to start it at the bridge or right above the bridge of the nose of um, whoever's going to wear this mask and you want to run it all the way down the middle of the face to about two inches past the chin um, and then you want to take that measurement and add one inch to it and that will tell you what number you're going to come and put in here. So for example, for my daughter, uh, my six-year-old daughter, I was able to measure uh, her and I found out that she was at about five inches. Uh, and so, I'm sorry, not five inches. She was at four and a half inches. So then I came in here and basically put this at 5.5 inches and then Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so it, it resized it. You just want to make sure that both of these elements are grouped together before you do this so that they can resize at the same time. So at this point, this is 
almost ready to cut for a smaller mask, what you would do from this point, if you've already sized it uh, to where you want it to be, is that you're going to right click and group it. Um, and again, we need two of this piece, which is the filter pocket. Uh, so you would just copy and paste that. Now you have that. And of this piece here, we need four of them. We need two, which are going to be the outer uh, part of the mask. And then another two, which are going to be the lining, the inner lining of the mask. And when you go ahead and uh, duplicate these two, you'll probably want to change the color of them. Um, and this will just help uh, separate it into different mats for you. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. So if you've sized this accordingly and you're ready to go, all you would need to do is make it or hit make it and it'll separate it out into the mats for you. Um, another tip that I have is if you have room and you have enough fabric to do so, separate out uh, the elements a little bit because since you're cutting fabric, you wanna make sure that you know the rotary blade cuts it sharp and uh, that the edges are nice and crisp. And if you have it two together, you have a chance of it tearing fabric or possibly fr uh, fraying the edges of the fabric. So, but yeah, uh, as you can see, it's really, really easy to resize this um, and then to get it ready for cutting. Uh, I hope that helps you guys, but now I'm going to move on and help out my Silhouette users. Uh, so let me go ahead and pull up Silhouette Studio. If you are a Cricut user, uh, then you can go ahead and end this video at this point because everything going forward is going to be strictly for Silhouette uh, users. And for Silhouette, uh, at the bottom of this post, and if you're using any other machine as well, you want you know the actual like SVG cut files, not necessarily the design space links, um, you can go ahead and download that at the bottom as well, and it's labeled SVG, EPS, PNG, um, DXF files. So what you would do if you have a Silhouette Cameo is that you would come into Silhouette, you would go to File, you would go to Open, and then you would go ahead and find um, the face mask pattern. Um, and let me see here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so you would find the face mask pattern, and I'm not sure why it always does this, but um, we have to adjust this here, our media size. Okay, and so it would show up like this. And again, this is already sized here, uh, seven inches by 5.75. So this is perfect for an adult. If you're going to use this for an adult, you would, um, again, like we did with Cricut, you would ungroup this, um, you would duplicate this, copy paste that, the two layers for the filter, and then you would um, make two pieces for the outer lining and two pieces for the inner lining of this. And then you would also wanna change colors just to uh, not confuse you when you're getting ready to cut, you know exactly what to cut on the mat first. Uh, and so that's pretty much what you would do to get this file ready to cut for adult size. Now, if you need to uh, resize this pattern for smaller faces or bigger faces, whoever's gonna be wearing this mask, you wanna go ahead and start from the beginning. I'm just undoing what I just did. You'll start from the beginning this way. You gotta make sure that both elements are grouped. And then once again, you wanna take that formula of measuring from right above uh, the bridge of the nose to about two inches past the chin with measuring tape. Take that number, add one inch to it to allow for seam allowance basically is the reason why you do that. And then you come in here and all you have to change is the width to whatever number that is. So for example, again, if it's for a child, you'd wanna, you know, do whatever measurement that you come up with um either five you know inches and it resizes it for you or um any other you know you could see here the measurements at that point uh, but it would resize that for you so you want to just go ahead and make sure that you're doing that um as well you could also scroll in and you can see how the numbers change on this pattern uh, so if you want to go all the way down to um, you know, whatever number it is that you want. And then once again, once you resize this, you would follow the exact same steps. Oh, what happened there? Okay, you would uh, ungroup it. And then you would just start doing, once again, the copy pasting to figure out 
or not to figure out, but to basically set up the cuts for yourself. Okay, so that's that's exactly how this works. Uh, if you have any questions, again, please feel free to leave me a comment or reach out to me. I'm always happy to help. I'm so happy to be able to share this tutorial. I was sharing on social a few of the masks that I made a few days ago, and I know that you guys were really interested. So thank you so much. I hope the tutorial makes sense, uh, and I hope that we all make masks and stay safe out there. I'm sending lots of hugs to everybody and stay crafty, my friends.